Hey guys, it's Dr. Linz here. We're doing another legging review, my first ever Gymshark legging try on. I'm gonna tell you all the deets about them, but before we do, don't forget to give this a like, subscribe, and comment below if you want me to review a certain brand of leggings, because I know this is very helpful for me to see what fits myself, and I want to help you guys feel good in your workout gear and your athleisure gear. Okay, so what leggings are these? These are the Seamless, the Vital Seamless 2.0 leggings, and the color is Blue Marl. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's a beautiful blue-gray color, which I really do love my blues, my blue colors, so I do like the color of these. And they are kind of textured, which I, I like the little um, textured feeling around here and kind of like a sweatshirt look. Um, not a solid color is what I'm trying to say. So I do really like that. Before I go into more details, I want to let you guys know my sizing. I am 5'3", about 145, 150. Um, I'm curvier fit, so I have wider hips, a little bit of smaller waist, and um, bustier too, but we're talking about the, the lower section here. These are a size extra small. I've never tried on Gymshark before. I am never an extra small, so I use their sizing guide, and I really couldn't believe I measured up to an extra small, uh, but as I get into it further, I'm going to tell you what size I probably should have went with. Okay, since these are seamless, I want to go over with you guys the seams that are here. So there's no seam in the front area. There is seams in the crotch area, which I'm going to tell you right now. It is amazing with how, <laughs> this sounds weird, but with how the crotch looks, you don't get that camel toe look. We don't want the camel toe, or at least I don't. Um, so I couldn't believe that like what I see on Instagram with these girls wearing Gymshark I'm like wow how does that look like that down there it's because of how the seams are in the in the crotch so I really like that that was a nice feature not getting a crotch <laughs> wedgie <laughs> and then we got our inside seam here another cool thing that's a little different is there is a seam at the cuff at the bottom here and it has like a little link which I don't really know why but it's just different and I kind of thought it was cool and then in the butt crack, we have a seam here, which I do think is nice because it accentuates the booty. When there's no seam, sometimes it just makes it run like one big, you know, bump right there. So I'm just being honest. I really like that uh, there too. Another thing about the seams to notice is there's contouring on the hips. The band is very supportive. So when I have this, this on, it's holding in my belly and then with the sizing I got, it's very, very stretchy, but yet it held me in. So like when I put them on, I was like, oh no, these aren't gonna go on. And then as I was pulling them up, mm -hmm. they went on. So what do you think? Do you think these were see-through or not when I did the squat test? Well, since I got an extra small and my booty is a little bit bigger, my hips are a little bit bigger, when I squatted down, I think it was see-through. You can let me know. I'm gonna put the squat video here. Let me know if you think it's see-through. I think it was kind of, but again, I don't think it's the legging itself. Actually, I know it's not the legging itself. It's because I needed to get a size small. So the proper size for me, size small. You can tell when I'm wearing the leggings, it kind of squeezed my hips um, a little bit and my skin was kind of coming over there. So a size small would have been better uh, for my body type, for my larger hips and booty. Um, and even, even my waist, it was kind of tight on. So size small is where it was at, which is why it caused it to be see-through in my opinion is because I had too small of a size, if that makes sense. So what kind of activity for these bad boys? Well, they're built for training, um, which it is a very much so a training legging. So doing circuits, uh, doing any kind of weight lifting, going for walks even, because they are, they feel, um, they don't feel heavy on me. They're very light and thin feeling but yet they do hold me in, like I said. There is sweat wicking as well in this material, which is awesome. Um, and again, the stretch is nice, but then the band holds you in. So you got your ha nice, happy medium there. So the price, the price tag on these Gymshark leggings, I am actually a legging snob, okay? So I am willing to put in more money into my leggings to make me feel good and to look better. Uh, so these leggings are 50 buckaroonies. And for me personally, I don't think that's bad. That's me personally. Some people like to get $20 leggings and that's perfectly fine. 
I don't think $50 are bad at all. Compared to Lulu, they are um, lower cost. Compared to Lululemon, they are lower cost. So that's a plus size side right there. Um, and like I said, they fit, they made me feel really good and confident. So do I think these are worth it or not? Well, if I got a size small, I would say they're worth it. Worth it or not, they're worth it. For me personally, with the price point, the durability of them, they feel nice um, and they fit very, very nice as well. And I can see myself training in them. I'd feel comfortable even running to the grocery store in them because they don't let me all hang out. They hold me in nice. And so my final decision is worth it, but I would get a size small. Um, if you guys have any questions about these, let me know below. If you have any suggestions on other brands or other kind of styles to review, let me know below and we will do those together. All right, guys, until next time, talk to you later.